Good morning, everybody. Happy holiday weekend to you, whether you are in the States or in Switzerland. It is a holiday weekend here, too. Um, on Thursday, it's the uh, national holiday of Christi Himmelfahrt, which basically translates to Christ driving up to the sky. So in honor of Ascension and in honor of Memorial Day, we're going to flow through a nice no-nonsense flow. This is about a 45-minute practice, and it's kind of my go-to practice when I know I don't have a ton of time, but I really want to move through a nice, thorough flow. So we're not going to talk a lot. We're just going to move through the vinyasa. If you need to take a break or if you need to slow down, um, of course, as always, modify or come to child's pose at any point in the practice. So start today in child's pose. Taking five breaths there. Knees wide. Belly soft, sink down into your child pose, slow your breath, maybe start to rock your forehead here a little bit right and left, then maybe gently bringing that rocking motion into your shoulders, and if your knees are healthy, all the way into your hips. Three more breaths. From child's pose, inhale to all fours, tabletop, moving right into your cat cow, exhale for cat, hollowing, inhale for cow, belly down, again, exhale cat, inhale cow, exhale hollow, inhale cow, two more rounds, exhale, inhale. One more round, exhale, inhale, cow, and then bringing your spine to neutral, downward facing dog, five breaths. Just kind of saying good morning to your body, bending one knee, bending the other, making lots of space between every finger, the sides of the feet parallel to the sides of the mat. And you're breathing in and out through your nose. Stay here two more breaths. From here, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward as you lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Coming all the way up here, inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, palms to prayer, release, follow the breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, your vinyasa variation, lowering. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. We're going to take three rounds of Surya Namaskar A, your sun salutation. Breathing in and out through your nose. Using this combination of forward and backward bends to gently warm up your spine and your hamstrings. Last breath. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop. Top of the mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your fold. Come all the way up here as you inhale, reach. Exhale, palms to prayer, release. Again, inhale up. Exhale, hinge of the hips, fold. Inhale, look. Exhale, vinyasa. Remembering you can always skip the vinyasa and just step back. Downward facing dog. Just three breaths here. Two, last breath, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat, inhale, look forward, exhale, deepen your fold, come all the way up here as you inhale, reach, 
exhale, palms to prayer. One more round, release. Inhale, shoulders soft, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look. Exhale, your vinyasa. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Two. Last breath. Bend your knees, rise to your toes, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward, exhale, deepen your fold. Come all the way up here as you inhale, reach. Exhale, palms to prayer. Release, chair pose, hips low. Sink even lower with the exhale, inhale all the way to standing. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, look forward, exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, high lunge. Inhale, hug your belly to your spine. Exhale, hands to the mat, flow through your vinyasa, or step it back, down dog. Second side, left foot forward, high lunge. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the mat, flow through your variation. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Slow it down. Coming back to center. Neck relaxed. As you look between your toes. Last three. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward, exhale, deepen your fold. Chair pose, hips low. Sink even lower with the exhale, inhale all the way to standing, exhale, palms to prayer. One more round, release. Chair pose, hips low. From here, look down, fold forward, exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale, look forward, exhale, vinyasa, lowering, chaturanga, or all the way down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Second side, left foot forward. Inhale, lengthen, high lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat. Flowing through your vinyasa. Finish it out. Downward facing dog. If you'd like, take a big inhalation. Open your mouth and exhale. Stay in your three last breaths. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Chair pose, hips low. Stay here, sinking low for five. Last three. Two. Final breath, inhale. Come halfway down for your Ardha Utkatasana. Breathing here, build some heat for five. Last two. Final breath, inhale. Look down, fold forward, exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your fold. Bend your knees to press your chest into your thighs. Reach back, interlacing hands above your hips, behind your tailbone. And then drop your fists up and over your head toward the mat for five.
Release your grip, Baddha Bhustasana, separating your feet, hip distance, grab your big toes. Inhale, look forward, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Five breaths here, bending your knees as much as you need to. Shoulders soft, neck relaxed. Release your grip for crow pose. Uh, rising to your tiptoes, bend your knees. Hand shoulder distance apart, looking forward about two feet. Aim your knees just outside your armpits. And then maybe just even take one toe up off the mat. Hugging your belly actively to your spine as your fingers claw the mat. Squeeze your heels to your hips. Last breath, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, flow through your vinyasa. And then finish it out, downward facing dog. Maybe taking a big inhalation here. Open your mouth and exhale. Toes and heels touch at the back of the mat. Inhale the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose twice more. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Once more, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose. And now land the right foot forward, lower the back knee, untuck the back toes. Take your little lunge, five breaths. Last breath, lengthen, inhale. Exhale, palms to prayer. Inhale to lift, exhale, twist to the right. Taking your left elbow outside your right thigh. Breathing here, shoulders soft for five. Look down, hands on the mat, step back for a vinyasa or make your way to downward facing dog. Everyone finish it out, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Toes and heels together, back on the mat. Inhale, forward high plank, placing your right hand under your face. Swing your heels to the right, take the left arm up. Any variation of your Vazustasana. I like to bring my left arm long at a diagonal, but you can also bring that left foot to a tree pose inside the right thigh. Lifting, breathing, lengthening. Final breath. Exhale, left hand to the mat, second side. Roll over your toes. Take the same variation you took on the first side. Breathing here, last three. Inhale, right arm, right leg up. Exhale, right hand to the mat. High plank, separate your feet. And now for forearm plank, come down to forearms and elbows. Five breaths. Toes and heels touch, swing your heels to the right. Take the left arm up, inhale, and then exhale, bring the left arm halfway to the mat. Again, inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up, exhale lower. Two more. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, come back to forearm plank right away, second side. Roll over your toes. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, bring it halfway down. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up, exhale lower. Two more. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right forearm to the mat. Use all your strength. Straighten your arms. High plank. Breathe here. Inhale. Down dog. Open your mouth. Exhale. Ah. 
And now toes and heels touch at the back of the mat. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Twice more, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose, and then land that left foot forward as you lower the back knee, low lunge, five breaths. Last breath here, inhale. Exhale, palms to prayer. Inhale to lift. Exhale, twist to the left. Second side, taking your twist and your low lunge. Keeping your left shoulder soft. Breathing here. Last three. Remembering that when you breathe through your nose, it helps to calm your nervous system. Last breath here. From here, look down, hands on the mat, step back, take your vinyasa, or just make your way to downward facing dog. From dog, bring your toes and heels to touch. Inhale the right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left armpit, stay there. Spin the left heel down as you extend the right leg long. Reaching the left arm to the sky or at a diagonal. Breathing here, last three. Exhale, left hand to the mat. Down dog, right leg in the sky. Inhale, exhale, high lunge, right foot forward. Inhale. Reach back, interlacing hands behind your back. Breathing here for three. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, palms to prayer. Inhale to lift and then exhale, twist to the right. Paravrita Parthvakanasana. Feel free to bind here. Feel free to extend your arms. Definitely keep breathing, last three. Look down very lightly. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. So now you're in a twisted chair. Stay here. Feel free to extend your arms or to take your side crow, arm balance. Breathing here, last four. Final breath, inhale. Look down, fold forward, exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale, look forward, exhale, vinyasa, your variation. Inhale, up, exhale, finish it out, downward facing dog. From here, bend your knees, look forward, step or jump through to your seat, rolling onto your back. Take your bicycles for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Moving to your straight legged bicycles for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Both legs to the sky. Lower your left leg so it hovers just above the mat. Inhale and then exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Switch your legs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Both legs up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, crunch. Two more, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And now stay as you exhale, and then use your inhale to rock up to your Navasana. 
Hugging your knees into your chest, squeezing your knees, your inner thighs. And now cross your left ankle over the right. Take your right hand to the ball of the right foot by the big toe. Inhale. And then use the exhale to extend. Totally fine if you can't straighten your legs here, right? Just offer what you can afford. Maybe looking back over that left shoulder. Continue to lift your heart. And remember not to take yourself too seriously. Last breath here. Look forward, re-bend your knees, regular old Navasana, second side. Right ankle on top of the left. Take your left hand to the left big toe, the ball of the foot, inhale. And then exhale, begin to extend the legs as you twist and look to the right. Right arm long behind you. Remember, you can always just bring your right hand to the mat here as well. Continue sending your heart forward. Breathing, last three. Two. And now look back to center for your regular old Navasana. One time, lean back, inhale. Exhale, bring your knees to your chest. And now take your peace sign fingers to your big toes. Keeping your knees together, elbows outside the legs. Inhale, use the exhale to begin to extend. Keyword begin, right? No problem if your legs stay bent. Keep flexing your toes back to your face, shoulders soft, knowing you can always use a strap here around your feet if you prefer. Breathe in here, last two. And now open up into your straddle, continuing to send your heart forward to find the balance here. Breathing. Totally fine if the knees are bent. Last two. Guide your legs back together. Hug your knees into your chest. Scoop your hands under your heels. Point your toes. Inhale. And then use the exhale to begin to extend. Again, if your knees are bent, that's fine. Think about really wrapping your forearms around your calves. Shoulders back. Eyes up. Last two. And now re-bend your knees, arms alongside your calves. Place your hands behind you. Feet hip distance. Take an inhale. Use the exhale to press the hips up for your reverse tabletop. Breathing here for five. Last breath. Softly lower your hips, cross your ankles, plant your hands, take a vinyasa. Using your vinyasa to reset and to re-energize to begin again. Toes and heels touch, inhale left leg to the sky. Exhale left knee, left shoulder. Inhale left leg up. Exhale, left knee, right armpit, spin the right heel down, extend the left leg, either reach the right arm to the sky or along in a diagonal, up and over your head. For this variation of fallen triangle, for three. Exhale, right hand to the mat, down dog, left leg in the sky, inhale and up, exhale, high lunge. Left foot forward, reach back, Interlacing hands behind you, center heart forward here for three. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, palms to prayer. Inhale to lift. Exhale, twist. Again, your variation, Parasvokanasana. Par, excuse me, Paravrita Parasvokanasana. Maybe extending your arms. Maybe taking the bind. Wherever you are, make sure you're breathing. Last three. Look down, keeping the twist, lightly step the right foot forward to meet the left. Here's your last chair of the practice, so be all the way there. 
Breathing here, maybe spreading your arms, maybe taking your side crow. Sinking your weight low into your heels. Last two. Look down, fold forward, exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale, look forward, exhale, vinyasa. Keep it flowing, exhale, lower. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Let's take dolphin. So, lower down to forearms and elbows, fingers laced or palms down. If you're really needing a break, this is a perfect chance to take a nice long child's pose. Otherwise, dolphin is an inversion here. You're rushing all kinds of fresh blood to your head, literally turning things upside down. As you strengthen and soften your upper body and continue to stretch your hamstrings. So again, just treat it like a meditation pose, noticing whatever's coming up while you're here. Keep breathing. Last three. Using all your strength, straighten your arms. Moving into down dog and just noticing how it feels. Noticing what you feel in your body and letting it blow right by. Last breath. And from here, step the right foot forward. Spin the left heel down, warrior two. Reverse, right arm up. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Right hand to a block or the mat. Left arm long in a diagonal. Finding your variation here. As you really draw that nice long line from your left middle finger through your torso, down and out through the left heel. Last breath. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, wrap that arm behind your back for your half bind or your full bind. Right arm would reach under the leg for the full bind. As you rotate your rib cage toward the sky, driving your heels down, last two. Inhale, warrior two, keep the knee bent, exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two, and now straighten the front leg, triangle, trikonasana, reaching forward, out, and down. Right hand can land on the block, it can land on your shin, it can grab your big toe for an Ashtanga variation. Really activate your quads. And plug the right big toe down as you reach to the ceiling here, last breath. From here, look down, inhale, warrior two, exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two, vinyasa. Carve all your hands to the mat, flow through your variation as we continue the flow and finish it out. Downward facing dog. Right away, step the left foot forward, spin the right heel down, warrior two. Reverse. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, side angle pose. Left hand to the mat or a block. Right arm long at the diagonal. Breathing here. And now inhale the right arm to the sky. Exhale, wrap that arm behind your back. Either stay there or for your full bind, take the left hand under the left leg. Scooping the rib cage to the sky as you drive your heels down. Breathing here, last three. Keep the knee bent, inhale, warrior two, exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two, and now straighten the front leg, triangle, reaching forward, out, and down. Right arm to the sky, left hand to your block your shin, maybe grabbing your big toe. Feeling the action in this pose as you engage your quads and plug that left big toe down. Last breath. 
From here, look down. Inhale, come up, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two, vinyasa. Carve all your hands to the mat. Either flow through your variation or meet me in downward facing dog. Maybe taking a big inhalation here. Open your mouth and exhale. And now step the right foot forward. Spin the back heel down, warrior one. Five breaths, Virabhadrasana A. Reach back to inhale these hands behind you. Humble warrior. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower the right shoulder inside the right thigh. Five breaths. Tracking the right hip back and the left hip forward. Last two. Carefully release your hands to the mat, spin to the ball of the back foot, step back, high plank, inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Inhaling up, exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, spin the right heel down, warrior one, second side. Last three breaths. Reach back to interlace hands behind you, humble warrior. Inhale to lift, exhale. Soften that left shoulder inside the left thigh. Maybe walking the left foot to the left a centimeter or two. Continuing to track the left hip back and rotate the right hip forward. Last two. Carefully release hands to the mat, step back, high plank, inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Inhale up, exhale, downward facing dog. Find your breath. And then when you're ready, bring your toes and heels to touch. Inhaling the right leg to the sky, gently open your hip. Now, you can stay here or for a challenge, think about reaching your left hand back and grabbing the right big toe. Play with it if you want. Last three. Inhale, extend the right leg, square the hip. Exhale, knee to your nose. Land that right foot between your hands. Inhale, take the right arm up, simple twist. Breathe here for five. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Fold over your straight right leg as you spin your back heel down. One breath, Parsvottanasana. And then lift your head. Place your left hand across the foot on a block or on the mat for revolved triangle. Right hand to your right hip. Stay there or as you exhale, reach the right arm to the sky. Paravrita Trikonasana for five. Exhale, right hand to the mat or the block. Hands either side of your foot, on the mat or on blocks. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deep in your fold. Five breaths here. Sinking into this hamstring stretch. Your intense side facing forward fold, last two.
Lift your head, rebend your knee, plant your hands, take down dog, right leg in the sky, gently open your hip, and then flip your dog. Three breaths. If you flipped, come back, down dog, right leg in the sky, inhale, reach it up, exhale, pigeon. Man your shin forward, sit on a block if you need to. Inhale to lift, and then if you'd like, fold forward, five breaths. Lift your head, walk your hands in, curl your back toe and send it back, downward facing dog. Staying for two breaths or for a vinyasa, inhale forward, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale downward facing dog. Toes and heels touch, inhale left leg to the sky, gently open your hip, continuing to really drive that right heel down. If you want to play with a challenge, reach your right hand back and see if you can grab your left big toe. It's really hard. Last two. Inhale, extend your leg, square your hip. Exhale, knee to your nose, landing the left foot forward. Simple twist. Inhale, take the left arm up. Breathing here for five. Exhale, left hand down, fold over your straight left leg as you spin your back heel down, one breath. And now lift your head, place your right hand on the block or on the mat outside the left foot for your revolved triangle. Left hand can stay in your hip or you can reach the left arm to the sky. Paravrita Trikonasana. Again, your secret power here is really engaging your front leg. So fire that left quad to protect your hamstring. And if you need to take a micro bend to protect your hamstring, that's fine too. Keep breathing, lengthening your spine with the inhale. Deepening the twist with the exhale. Last breath. Exhale, left hand to the mat or a block. Hands either side of your foot. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your full five breaths. Continuing to lengthen through the crown of your head, tracking the left hip back, last two. Lift your head, rebend your knee, take down dog, left leg in the sky as you open your hip, and then flip your dog. Just three breaths. If you flipped, come back. Down dog, left leg in the sky. Inhale, square the hip. Exhale, pigeon. Sit on the block if you'd like. Inhale to lift. And then feel free to fold forward. Five breaths here. Lift your head, walk your hands in, curl your back toe and step back, downward facing dog. Staying for two breaths or for a vinyasa, inhale forward, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale downward facing dog. From here bend your knees, look forward, step or jump to the top of the mat for your malasana, your uh, deep yogi squat. So your toes are out wide, heels are in, palms in prayer. 
Sit on a block if you need to, or roll the mat to pad your heels. Gazing straight ahead, stay here if that's enough. I like to bind, so you're going to reach the right hand down to the mat and the left arm up. And then wrap that left arm behind you, reaching the right arm forward like you're shaking hands with somebody. Take the right armpit in front of the right shin, reach back, and clasp. Either using a strap or a sock or a towel or grabbing your fingers themselves. And then looking back over that left shoulder. Last three. If you're bound, release. Exhale, palms to prayer. Second side right away. Left hand reaches down. Right arm at a diagonal, stay there. Or for the bind, wrap the arm behind you. Reach the left arm forward like you're shaking hands and then take that left armpit in front of the left shin. Reach back and see if you can take your bind. Again, treating this like your meditation pose. Just notice what you feel. Thinking of every sensation or thought as like a storm, a weather system that blows in and stays for a while and then passes. Today's weather is a perfect example of that. Last breath. If you're bound, extend the arms, exhale, palms to prayer. And now, look down, let's play with Tidivasana, Firefly. So, hands on the mat, turn your feet forward, they're about as wide as the mat, parallel. Stick your butt up kind of high, and then walk your hands back behind your heels. Fingers continue to point forward. Press the heels of the hand down, looking forward, and then see if you can take a seat on your upper arms. Inhale there, and then use the exhale to extend your legs. Five. All right, release. Take your vinyasa. Flow through your variation. Finish it out. Downward facing dog. Take a big inhalation. Open your mouth and exhale. And now step the right foot between your hands. Spin the left heel down, walking your hands between your feet. Grab hold of your big toes. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deep in your fold. Prasarita Padasanasana, D variation here for five. You can continue to grab your big toes, or if you are wanting a little more of a stretch, take your hands back around your heels so the forearms are going to hug the calves. Remembering you can always bend your knees if you need to here. Breathing, last two. Release your grip, hands on the mat under your face. Keep the left hand down, and inhale, take the right arm up. Breathing here for three. Exhale, lower the right hand, switch it up. Inhale, take the left arm up for three. Exhale, left hand down, hands on the mat under your face. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deep in your fold, prasarita, variation A. Staying here for three. Lift your head, look to the right, and for down dog, step your feet back, hands forward, breathe. From dog, inhale forward, high plank, and exhale, lower all the way down. Chin forward, Shalabhasana. Reach back to interlace hands above your tailbone, exhale everything, and then inhale, lift for five.
Softly exhale, release and rest as you look to the right. And now chin forward, bend both knees for bow pose. Reach back, grabbing hold of the tops of your feet or your ankles. Exhale and then inhale, lift. Kicking up here for five. Two. Last breath, inhale. Softly exhale, release, look to the left. Maybe rock your hips a little right and left, resting. And now chin forward, hands under your shoulders. Bend your knees again, widen your knees a little, and then scoop your hands a little lower down toward your um, belly. Inhale, and then exhale, press into your hands for your full Kapotasana. Remember, you don't need to touch your toes to your head. Just find your back bend today. Breathing here for three. And now softly exhale into child's pose. Take two breaths here. And now downward facing dog. Taking two breaths there, or for your vinyasa, inhale forward, exhale lower, inhale roll up, exhale downward facing dog. Coming to your knees for camel, knees hip distance apart, hands on your low back, inhale grow tall through the crown of your head, exhale into your back bend, five breaths. Right hand to right hip, left hand to the left, press your belly, your shoulders, your head up. Have a seat to neutralize, palms on your thighs, close your eyes if you want. Take a big inhalation, open your mouth, exhale. And now seal your lips, eyes open, downward facing dog. Taking two breaths in your dog or for a vinyasa, inhale forward, exhale lower. Inhale, roll up, exhale, downward facing dog. And now again, coming to your knees, but this time coming into your hero pose. So sit on a block um, with your, or start maybe just hips on heels. If that's okay, you can lift your hips and sit on a block or place your sit bones on the floor between your feet. You can stop there if that's enough. I'm gonna go a little further, but listen to your knees and stop when they say, hey, so knees stay down, they continue to squeeze together. Right hand to right foot, left hand to left foot, maybe lower down to forearms and elbows. Maybe you stop there. Or final variation is to lower all the way down, reach back and grab hold of your elbows and rest. Again, thinking of this as your meditation pose. Can you sit with whatever's coming up, whether it's Blissful or ugly, unbearable or surprisingly lovely. Just notice whatever it is. Greet it like a visitor. Invite it in for tea. And see if you can spend these next couple of breaths welcoming it, knowing that whatever you feel is not you and it will not last forever. And you are spacious and vast and peaceful enough under any of those severe thunderstorms that roll in, to sit with it. Last two. If you're reclining very carefully, right hand to right foot, left hand to left, press up to forearms and elbows with no weird twists. Press up to your palms, and then everybody look forward, plant your hands, downward facing dog. Neutralizing your spine and feeling the blood rush back into your feet and your ankles and your knees. 
Stay for two breaths or for a vinyasa. Inhale forward, exhale lower. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, downward facing dog. You're almost done with back bends. Bend your knees, look forward, step or jump through to your seat, rolling onto your back, bridge pose. Feet hip distance, exhale. Inhale to lift your pelvis. Feeling free to take any variations here. Maybe grabbing your heels, lacing hands under your body. Feeling free to use a supported block for a more restorative variation. Continue to squeeze your inner thighs, last breath. Softly lower your hips, just rest for a breath or two. We'll take one last back bend today. So I'm gonna do a full back bend, but you're welcome to do another bridge or another reverse tabletop or another bow or another camel, okay? So hands and feet in place for full back bend. That means they're next to your ears. Feet parallel, inhale, and then exhale, lift it up. Five breaths. Last big breath, really open up into it. Inhale. And now tuck your chin softly, gently lower. Soles of the feet touch as the knees fall wide open. Left hand on your belly, right hand on your heart. Close your eyes if you want. Taking a big inhalation. Open your mouth and exhale. Resting here in the stillness. Breathing for three. Hands outside your thighs, gently guide your knees together, hugging your knees into your chest. And then for happy baby, bring your fingers to your arches. Rocking your baby right and left for five. Pressing your belly button through your spine down into the mat to really help release your low back here. Last three. From here, hug your knees into your chest. We're going to do a rock and roll vinyasa, so start to build some momentum. And we're going to take three push-ups at the top before we make our way to down dog, all right? So get ready in three, and two. And now rock on up to your high plank. Three push-ups. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. Downward facing dog. Sorry, I got the words a little switched up there. I think you know what I meant. Three push-ups, finish in dog. If you did any variation of that, great. From dog, bend your knees, look forward, step or jump through your seat for Johnny Sarshasana. Extending your legs out long, draw your right knee in, let it fall open like in tree pose. Inhale, arms up, maybe with a strap in your hand. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift to lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold, five breaths. Lift your head, arms reach forward, come all the way up. Exhaling, palms through prayer, release. Second side, right knee in, send it long. Try the left knee in, let it fall open. Inhale, arms up, exhale, fold over that straight right leg. Inhale to lift, exhale, five breaths.
Lift your head, arms reach forward, come all the way up. Inhale, exhale, palms through prayer, release. Guide that left knee in, extending the leg long, Paschimottanasana. Wiggling your hips back once or twice if you'd like. From here, inhale, arms up, maybe strap in hand. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to lift and lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Five big breaths for your deepest forward fold of the day. Lift your head, arms reach forward, come all the way up, inhale, exhale, palms through prayer. Landing behind you to point to your hips, point your toes, Purvottanasana. Inhale here, use the exhale to press the mat away as you look to the wall behind you. Zipping your inner thighs, pointing your toes. Breathing here for three. Softly lower your hips, hug your knees into your chest, Baddha Konasana. Thumbs in your arches, inhale, exhale, fold. Five breaths. Continuing to lengthen your spine, even though you're in a forward fold. Inhale, flat back, come all the way up. Hands outside your thighs, guide your knees together. Let's take one last vinyasa. Roll over your feet, plant your hands, flow through your variation, and then meet me in downward facing dog. From here, inhale the left leg up and then exhale, pigeon. Just moving through pigeon to get to your spinal twist. So place the right hand outside the left thigh, grounding yourself on the floor or on a block. Place the right hand behind you. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, twist. Feel free to bind. Maybe reaching the right arm behind you and the left hand under the right thigh. Lengthening with the inhale. Deepening the twist with the exhale. And now release, taking a little counter twist. Lean back and just switch your legs up. Right knee down, left heel outside the right thigh. Inhale, right arm up and then exhale, twist. Looking over your left shoulder. Maybe taking the bind with the left arm behind your back and the right arm under the left leg. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, deepen the twist. From here, inhale, look forward. Take a little counter twist. Inhale back to center, I lied. Let's take one more vinyasa. Step your feet back, flow through your variation. Inhale, roll up, exhale, downward facing dog. From here, come to your seat. Any comfortable meditation seat, on a block, on your knees. If you want, you can pause the video right now and take an inversion. Legs up the wall, at the wall, if you want to shimmy your butt up to the wall. A headstand, a shoulder stand, um, anything that is a nice way to kind of slow the body down. I'm going to jump right into the meditation. So come to that comfortable seat, settle in. Always thinking of this as the capstone pose of our practice. Palms in your lap. Palms up or hands on your thighs. 
I don't know if you can see it on the video right now, but the wind is starting to whip and there's a big storm blowing in and the rain is about to explode. And I can't think of a better metaphor for what it's like when we meditate. The storm's blowing. The wind is rustling the trees. It threatens to upend us. But we drop into stillness and remember that we can always access that still small voice, even when we're surrounded by the tumult. So come into your stillness. If you hear any sounds or get distracted, just remember life is happening. And we're coming into that quiet place in the midst of it. Take in a few final breaths here in stillness. As you inhale, think to yourself, here. Exhale, now. Inhale, here. Exhale, now. Inhale, here. Exhale, now. Inhale here. Exhale now. Finding the quiet and the stillness at the end of that last exhalation. And then inhaling palms to prayer, lifting our hearts. Exhaling, we bow forward in very simple gratitude for this body, this breath, this moment, and this life. For as the yoga reminds us, each of these will pass. That we might never take any of those breaths or any of those moments, even and especially the most tumultuous and stormy ones, for granted. Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha. I offer all efforts to all teachers. Inhaling to rise up, my friends and my teachers. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend and that you can find moments of peace in the movement. I look forward to seeing you again soon.